the National Transport and Safety Authority, NTSA, in collaboration with other stakeholders in the transport sector, today held a training to sensitize border-border operators on the proper use of the road. 250 border-border operators were trained against a target of 200,000 operators countrywide. The training is aimed at reducing road accidents caused by border border riders. The grim statistics on road carnage among the border border operators appear to be a pain point to the National Transport and Safety Authority NTSA and other stakeholders in the transport sector. We are here today to ensure that they safely ride their units and so we have brought together as well the assemblers, the retailers uh, who are behind us as you can see to eagerly help them, teach them and help them understand as part of riding safely together. So as part of the Jagam Singhi product that we are uh, partnering with Watu Credit. They have consequently held a one-day workshop to re-educate border border operators and the proper road use. The border border operators were trained on how to administer first aid to those who have been injured during the accidents. And so if we train them in first aid, they will be at least able to help those who are injured. They help themselves, they help their pillion passengers, but they will also be helpful even at their homes. So far, 250 border border operators have been trained against the target, 200,000 across the country. We are united with one purpose, uh, to support Kenya somehow to reduce the number of the deaths and injuries on the roads. So we truly believe that we are not able to act alone. We do care about border border community, we do care about our clients, we do care about their children and we do care about Kenya, like whole country. During the workshop, the government and other stakeholders in the transport sector were urged to help push policies that will allow border border operators to secure loans so as to promote their businesses. Na tunaomba tena serikali ishike wana border border ile president alisema watatusaidia kuweka pesa kidogo kwa sacos zetu tuko na sacos registered na tunaomba serikali the operators, however, decried the high cost of fuel and urged the new administration to intervene. This even as the proposal to use electric model of motorbikes was fronted to deal with the fuel crisis. So if we are able to get quite a number of, uh, quite a number of model of electric motorbike coming into the market, I think it will be an advantage to our riders because now they'll not be having the cost of fuel being a problem to them in terms of payment. Because if they are able to get the income and they don't have any other, maybe the cost of, uh, or the cost of um, maintaining the motorbike reduces, their repayment and also maintaining their portfolio will be up.